Hello and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about how to install the Bluetooth and audio drivers for a Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation on the 5.1 Mac Pro. This would not be for a boot camp installation, but you know, an open core with a USB stick or a Rufus installation. And uh, so in my experience, Windows will load its drivers for almost all of the devices on your machine. So webcams, uh, mice, keyboards, things like that. But um, two that it won't <clears throat> automatically find and load the drivers for, in my experience at least, are the Bluetooth and the built-in audio in the Mac Pro. And so I'm going to show you the way that I've installed those on my installations. So let's start with the Bluetooth installation. Okay, right-click on the, the window logo at the bottom and we'll go to Device Manager. And here's an entry for Bluetooth USB Host Controller. So Windows knows there's a U USB Host Controller, but it has this little caution logo on it because it hasn't installed a driver for it. So we'll right-click on it, choose Update Driver. And typically you search automatically for the drivers. In this case, we've done that, and Windows was unable to install your Bluetooth USB host controller. Couldn't find the drivers. So you can go to Windows Update and search for updated drivers on Windows Update. And we'll go ahead and check for updates and see if anything comes through on here. Um, hint, people, it's not going to work. I know this from the <laughs> past. Uh, we get an anti-malware uh, update and go to Advanced Options. Uh, optional updates and here are these driver updates and you see a couple for AMD and one for Dell so none of that has anything to do with Bluetooth or sound so that's not what we need now we're at support.apple.com and we'll search for boot camp driver update and this is the file we want it's this uh, boot camp support software 5.1.5769 which is the Windows support software or drivers. You need to support 64-bit versions of Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 on your Mac. Uh, we'll go ahead and download that. Now, by the way, before I download it, notice that even though it doesn't mention Windows 10 or Windows 11 here, um, you do see the Sonoma and the, the Monterey um, and the Ventura you know, images up there. So. Uh, they've gone to the trouble of updating the logos for the newer Mac OS operating systems, even though they haven't mentioned the newer Windows. But I know this to work on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I've used it on both. So we'll download this. You notice it downloads as a zip file. So when we get it downloaded, we're going to have to uh, open it. While it's downloading, let's go take a look at Bluetooth devices under settings and up here where the devices would be at the top there there are no devices shown um, nothing down here so anyway it hasn't installed the Bluetooth so it doesn't know it has it yet uh, the uh, downloads finishing up here all right so I open up um, uh, Windows Explorer window and right there it is under recent so I'm just going to go ahead and right click on it here in the file and I'm going to hit this extract all and extract it right here and this took uh, quite a long time to extract this so I'm speeding it up you know something like 10 times here um, but it, it did take 10 minutes or something like that Okay, so this is the extracted window that, uh, or folder, I mean, that's opening up, Bootcamp 5.1.5769, and uh, it has two folders with drivers in it, the WinPED driver folder and the Bootcamp folder. Um, take a look at the Bootcamp folder, and then you see a folder down there called Drivers. So I uh, wish I had opened that for you, but anyway, there's a bunch of drivers in there. Go back to 
device manager and back to this Bluetooth USB host controller. We'll update the driver, but this time we won't search automatically for drivers. We will browse the computer for drivers and go to the uh, downloads folder that has the bootcamp folder. And I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to hit the bootcamp folder. I don't need to drill down all the way into the subfolders and the subfolders. Um, it will find the driver that it needs uh, within here. And so it's putting them in and Windows has successfully updated our drivers. Apple Broadcom built-in Bluetooth. So I close that um, up in the upper left there in Device Manager. You can see that the Apple Broadcom built-in Bluetooth is now fully installed and active. So here it is in Devices and we can add our equipment. We can pair things. So now let's talk about the audio driver. I'm going to search for Realtek audio or HD audio drivers, Realtek HD audio drivers. And this high definition audio codex software is what we need. So the first couple are for Linux, then we get under Windows, and we need the 64-bit version of this. Now it says Windows 7, or it says Vista 7, 8, 8.1, That takes you way back, doesn't it, Vista? But uh, this is still what we want. It's still the same driver even in Windows 11. That's what I'm currently using. So we'll download that and accept the terms. It's going to give us a simple little math quiz that we have to pass, uh, 6.7, 6 plus 7, 6 plus 7, uh, it must be about 13, right? Can't believe that took me as long as it did to figure that out. Okay, so it starts uh, downloading, and you see up here it says it has two hours left. And uh, it's not that big a file, that big of a download, but it is really, really slow. And it really does take hours to download this little file. So, uh, hey, I've had a long day. I'm going to call it a night and come back in the morning. Okay, so overnight uh, the downloads are complete. I'm just going to go here to open up the downloads folder. And for some reason, whatever reason, it just starts on its own. Realtek HD audio starts extracting. And uh, here's the install shield wizard. Uh, those of us that have been working with Windows since the, I don't know, the 80s or 90s, whenever Windows first came out. Um, yeah, install shield something that we, we knew well from those days. So this is like a blast from the past. So it gets kind of hung up on, on this installing part, and I almost thought that it had, had failed or, or like really hung up but uh, just let it go. It takes a while. Now it says that the uh, a restart's required. Your PC needs to be restarted, but the install shield wizard doesn't even say that it's done installing yet. But you wait another moment or two more and then the install shield ends up and tells you it's done. So it's complete and I need to restart the computer so I'll go ahead and restart the computer. Um, and this is it. And so once I restart it then I have internal speaker, I have my external desktop speakers plugged into the computer and everything's working fine. So. Bluetooth, audio, all working up to date. Um, the only other uh, driver that I do anything with is, is you get graphics card drivers from Windows updates, but if you want the full Radeon package or the full NVIDIA package, I guess you need to go to their site and, uh, and download their latest drivers. So I've done that. And that's it. Um, one of the things about having Windows on the Mac Pro is that uh, you know Apple tried to build the reputation of it just works with Apple products, but trying to run unsupported Mac OS on these older systems, uh, it's actually a lot easier to run Windows on them because 
most everything that you plug into with them, the drivers are just going to load in automatically, uh, except for you know these two things, which are really Apple-specific hardware. That's why the drivers aren't out there for Windows. Um, and, and Windows, uh, other than that, anything you plug into your Windows pretty much just works. And it's really the Apple uh, OS versions and things that you really have to be careful about with compatibility. So I hope this video was useful to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.